Hi, I'm Brandon Chin, Senior Technical Specialist with Canon USA. In 2021, Canon introduced the RF 5.2mm f2.8L dual fisheye lens, launching the EOS VR system. Since then, we've been blown away by the innovative VR content that our customers have produced with Canon's EOS VR system, as well as the enthusiasm that the creative community has shown for it. We've met with studios and VR creators across the country and have discussed how VR production with the RF dual fisheye lens and the EOS VR software could be even better for their needs. So in response to all of your user feedback, today we're excited to share some big news. Canon proudly announces a big update for both Canon EOS VR utility software and EOS VR plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro software applications. The version 1.2 software enables faster processing, more compatibility with high-spec hardware, workflow flexibility, and higher quality imagery to bring your creative vision to life. There are a lot of details to share, so let's dive right in. We know that speed is of critical importance to professionals. So version 1.2 of Canon's EOS VR software adds NVIDIA CUDA and Apple Metal GPU processing capabilities, making both EOS VR plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro and EOS VR utility software applications even more powerful. Secondly, a speed priority mode was added to EOS VR plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro. Now you can choose to edit while viewing a fisheye image instead of the corrected eco-rectangular view, freeing up computer resources and helping to improve performance. Edits and adjustments can be made in this fisheye view mode with VR conversion processing applied afterwards, which can help shorten editing time. For users who invested in recent high-spec Mac computers, version 1.2 of both EOS VR Utility and EOS VR plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro software applications will support the Apple Silicon platform natively without the need for the Rosetta compatibility software, making high speed and high image quality processing more accessible to Mac platform users. Additionally, for Windows users, a new intermediate export format has been added to the EOS VR Utility software application, enabling improvements to workflow flexibility when editing across multiple applications. HEVC 44410 bit has been added as an option, providing a more comfortable file to export to. This HEVC format creates an efficient file size while providing 100% color sampling with a 10-bit color format. Lastly, for EOS R5C and EOS R5 owners who have requested raw video support, I'm proud to say that this is now possible with version 1.2 of EOS VR software. Previously, it was only able to convert MP4 files to stereoscopic 180-degree VR format. EOS VR Utility now adds many of the Cinema Raw development functions, creating an even more powerful application to match your creative vision. You'll now see a Raw Development tab at the top on the right side of the application. This provides control over color space and gamma, as well as white balance, ISO, brightness, sharpness, and even noise reduction. Lastly, the CRM Raw file can be exported to the following formats on a Windows machine. And it can be exported to these formats on Mac OS X machines. Like I said, it's a big update. And there's one more thing. Because the RF dual fisheye lens records such a wide field of view, the image of an individual lens captures the opposite lens in its view. So we've listened to your feedback and added a lens mask function in both EOS VR Utility and EOS VR Plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro. This allows you to softly vignette the outside peripheral area of the frame where the lens would previously be seen. Now that was a lot of news, right? Well, if you're looking for more support information on the Canon RF Dual Fisheye Lens or to download the latest EOS VR software applications, visit the cam.start.canon website. Moving forward, a check for updates function will be available in both of these applications. With these powerful version 1.2 updates, we're looking forward to seeing even more creative stories told with the RF Dual Fish Islands. For Can USA, I'm Brandon Shin, and thanks for watching.